Sri Lankan, we have a big challenge after 30th war, how to build a sustainable peace. Especially in education, we have in identified what are the strategies of in education to promote sustainable peace. This program, this very special program, we identify uh, 10 schools from Kuru Nagala and Kuliapitiya Son. They have linked to another 10 schools at uh, Madhu and uh, Mana Son. They are trying to join uh, their village, their school, other school children with this village and school. We are given a chance to go in a sustainable activities to develop peace. I, as the principal of the school, is happy to welcome the school children from the Kulia Pitya area. My students who are living in rehabilitation camps are now attending school. This school is now included in the project 4000 schools, sponsored by the government. There are about 570 students and 17 teachers. The children in my school are from very poor families. We are trying our best to develop our school and I am very happy regarding the program held today. I wish to thank all of you. Our 
Railway School is in the Mana district and this is one of the 54 schools in our region. Ours is a grade 2 school and there are 234 students and 10 teachers. I need 14 teachers, but there are only 10 teachers. We do not have teachers to teach mathematics, science and English. Our school was destroyed in the year 2007 and was rebuilt in 2010. And we have only one school building. We hope to develop this school up to grade 10 next year. I wish to thank all my brothers from Kurunagala for organizing this program. There are a number of facilities we lack in this school and we hope you will be able to help us. The parents of the children in my school are fishermen and they are very poor. These children did not attend school during the war situation, but now they come to school regularly. Our students are very happy to meet all of you today and they like the program very much. We do wish to help others who are in need, but due to our financial situation, we are unable to help them. The children who attend our school do not have a proper meal a day due to poverty. This situation is a great drawback to continue their studies and education. Although this school started in 1950, it was developed to grade 10 only in 1998. We are very grateful to the team that has come from Kurunagala. Thank you all. We consider this program as a visit from our relations in Kurunagala. This program has built friendship and brotherhood among our children from the north and the south. And it is going to be a bridge towards promoting peace in the country. Central College. For decades, due to the ethnic war, there did not exist any communication between Sinhalese and Tamil communities. These kind of programs eradicate the mistrust and misunderstanding between Tamils of the Northeast and the Sinhalese of the south part of the island. We need to promote more and more programs such as this to heal the wounds of our nation and to build the mutual cohesion. This program which is held today is very important to the Sinhala and Tamil communities. During the war these two communities were enemies but now they have realized the realities of the war and their wounds of mistrust and hatred towards one another are in the process of healing. This gathering of students of two ethnic communities will no doubt strengthen the bonds of friendship 
towards building peace and harmony in Sri Lanka. We are extremely happy and fortunate to participate in programs such as this and sincerely hope you will be able to organize such programs in other parts of the country too. We are one family. We thank all of you for this wonderful endeavor. We can impart to our children valuable experiences in these kind of programs. This is my first experience as a teacher without any religious and language difference. We need to allow our children to interact with their own fellow brothers and sisters living in the island. We give our fullest support in the future to organize this kind of programs that welcomes people of all ethnicities and religions. This is what we need to bring healing and reconciliation to our wounded nation after 32 years of war.